This is a lung model. This pink membrane is the diaphragm, and these two balloons represent the lungs. The room inside is called a thoracic cavity and is completely sealed. When the volume of the thoracic cavity increases by lowering the diaphragm, for instance, the air pressure inside becomes lower than the atmospheric pressure. Because the balloons that represent the lungs are connected with the outside, the outside air is taken into the lungs, and the balloons are inflated when the air pressure inside the thoracic cavity becomes negative. That's exactly the situation of inhalation. Now let's take a breath. And now let's push the diaphragm back slowly. At this time, the air inside the lungs goes out. Because there is an artificial larynx here, the rubber membrane of the artificial larynx vibrates just when the air goes out from the lungs. Please listen to the glottal sound produced during exhalation after inhalation. Such a sound is produced at our larynx, but it does not sound like a vowel sound by itself. Now let's put a head on it. The head-shaped model mimics the cross-section of the vocal tract when we produce the vowel ah. Now let's inhale and exhale. Ah. This model has a passage through the nose or the nasal cavity. Now the velum is raised and the passage through the nose is blocked and a non-nasalized vowel is produced. On the other hand, if the velum is lowered like this, the air flows through the nose and a nasalized vowel is produced. Now please listen to it. Ah. 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 Coupling between the nasal and pharyngeal cavities by a small port results the difference of vowels without nasalization. Ah. Or with nasalization. Ah. 